All right, so I'm going to start sharing my screen, guys. Uh, let's find out where that is. Let's remove the pin. Let's go to share screen. I'll share this one. Uh, what I'm going to do is jump into this. We'll shrink that down. All right, so we're in our fabrication 1010 unit. Uh, with this, uh, this is a teacher view, so I'm going to change it to student view. So this is what you will see at home if you're working off of the PC. If you're working off your mobile phone, it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, but this is our fabrication 1010 fabrication tools and materials unit. Um, here, we're, we always work out of uh, resources and content. So we're going to click on resources. We're going to drop that down to content. And this is what you will be able to see. So we have our fabrication orientation. We got our shop safety scavenger hunt, shop layout assignment. Those should be all done. That's why I gave you guys the last in-person class to finish all that up. So we'll close this unit. Also, here is our outline. If you want to go over that again, hierarchy of controls. We talked about that in class. So I've got the video, the, uh, the picture, and the control example. Uh, that should be completed. I will be marking those in the next day or so. And welding safety. This is where we're working today. We're working on welding safety. So we have the PowerPoint that I went over in class. And you'll see that right here. Should be in just a second. Uh, this one here. Uh, we also have a game I wanted to play with you guys, but since we're not here, we can't play it in person. Uh, it is a safety review Jeopardy. Uh, normally this has sound. For some reason, I don't have sound with this. Uh, but what this is, is a bunch of questions. Uh, some of them are in the slideshow, some are not. And we're going to use this as well as review. So I'd like you guys to go over this when you get the chance, because you're going to need it to answer the welding shop safety test. So we're going to pop this open. And uh, it doesn't give me the option to start the quiz, but this quiz is going to be 30 questions. Uh, actually, 29, I'm sorry. Uh, there are multiple choice, there's true, false. There are a few different modes of answering on this quiz. And with this quiz, uh, being a safety, I need to be 100% confident in your skills in the classroom and that you know what you're doing. So therefore, we have to receive 100% on this quiz. Uh, I know 29 answers and 100% is quite a bit. But what I would suggest doing is working through this on a separate piece of paper, getting all your answers lined up, taking the quiz, and then submitting all your answers in one shot. That is going to be the best way to do this, I think. And the answers are going to come from both the slideshow and the Jeopardy game. So a lot of them will be fairly simple. Uh, there may be a couple of repeats in there. Not 100% certain. It's been a while since I've gone through every individual question on the test. But um, this should be completely doable. I have opened the amount of attempts to unlimited. So it's not like you have to get 100% on the first try. And I've also set a parameter where if you get a question wrong, uh, what will happen is the next time you take the test, it should omit all the questions you got correct and only leave you with the incorrect ones. So it's kind of leading you to that 100%. So that is what I've done for you to help you complete this. Uh, you have unlimited attempts as outlined right here. It, it says unlimited estimated time required two hours. It's not going to take you two hours. Um, I do suggest going through both of those. Oh, it says before you submit the quiz, you have the opportunity to return to questions that you may have missed or not yet answered. You can submit your response at any time. Uh, so that is how I have this set up for today. Uh, this is probably one of the bigger assignments I'm giving you on this uh, time at home. I need to get this out of the way. Shop safety is very important. So now is a great time to do this. Um, all right, JR. Cool. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, some beautiful artwork you have going there. So uh, with this, I'm going to allow you to complete this. Um, I'm going to basically say that you are now free to go uh, as long as 
you guys need my help, I will be here. I will have this open. You can get a hold of me at any time. Uh, I will be available via email. I'll be available via the Zoom call. And that is how this is going to work. Uh, so today is going to be the big one. Uh, I'm going to go through the chat. Make sure you've dropped your name in there. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. We're going to go through there. <laughs> You're bad. Uh, that's fine. That's the way it ha what happens. We're all playing around. We're having some fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, so with this, that uh, quiz is what I'd like to get done today. Uh, if we have a bunch of people struggling to complete it today, we may offer more time tomorrow. I don't want to drag it out any longer than that, but I'd love it if everyone could get it completed today. Uh, but we will see what, how that goes. Uh, it is going to take a bit to work through both those things. Uh, but that's, uh, like I said, I have to be 100% confident in your skills in the shop because when we get back here, it's all hands on deck. Uh, we'll be moving into hand tools right away. And I actually just completed the demo hand tools project. If you give me one moment, I will get that and I'll show you what we'll be working on. All right, so what we have here is our hand tools project. And this is going to be an ax and log setup. So the hand tools portion is going to be this ax head and cutting the handle. Uh, we're gonna use a hacksaw and a file. We're gonna lay out uh, the head using some hand tools. We're gonna have a drawing to follow. Uh, once that's cut, you can file a nice edge on it. You may not be able to see it, but this one here has a nice sharp edge on it. It looks sharp, but it's actually not sharp. We don't want to hurt ourselves with it. Um, then as we move on, this section here, this is actually a piece of two inch pipe that I will give you. Uh, this here on the bottom is a three by three plate. And what we're going to do is use gas metal arc welder. Once we're into that unit, we've learned how to use it. We are going to use that to put this bark effect on this tree stump. And then when we get to shielded metal arc welding, we're going to put the tree growth ring effect on the top here. And then we're gonna take one of the welders and we're gonna attack our ax onto the top of that, creating the ax and stump project. So I think it's kind of a neat little uh, project. And the nice thing is this kind of forces you to complete all three units to complete the hand tools because the hand tools unit is the gatekeeper. Uh, that is the, the one that basically you need to unlock that credit to allow access to credits for 1048 and 1050. Without the 1010 credit, you can't move on to those two units. Uh, you will not be issued credits. Even if you get 100% in 1048 and 1050, you're not going to be getting those credits if you haven't got the 1010 unit completed. So everyone will be completing one of these. Whether you take it home or not is entirely up to you. I think it's pretty cool, neat little project. Um, and it just kind of ties all the units together. Uh, so uh, Anthony asks, uh, so do I work on that today? Uh, we're gonna be working on the uh, shop safety test in the welding safety in the Fab 1010 tools and materials unit. That's what we're working on today. So, Hopefully you can get that completed. Uh, I am looking for 100% on that. So I've opened it up for unlimited tries and it's going to remove all of your correct answers every subsequent uh, attempt. So you're gonna have less and less to answer as time goes on, kind of leading you to that 100% that I wanna see. Uh, it's gonna be 29 questions, it's a bit of work. If for some reason you cannot find the answer in either of those slideshows, then we're gonna go back to our friend Google. Google will help us out on there, but use the slideshows first. Um, I will double check and I think everything lines up pretty well, but if it does not and we have to go to Google, then we're gonna use that uh, to help us out there. So that is it for today, folks. Uh, I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna shut down the video, I'm gonna mute my mic. Uh, I'm gonna leave this open, uh, but I will let you uh, head on out of here. Uh, if you need anything, 
yell at me through the screen, send me an email, brian.scott at learn.cssd.ab.ca. And then I will help you out. I'm here for you. So let's get this completed. So when we can come back, we can hit the ground running, hand tools, and right into welding. Awesome. So I hope you're all healthy. I hope you had a good weekend besides the snow yesterday. Hey, if you like snow, awesome. Uh, but I think I got a bit of a sunburn on Saturday and then it was snowing on Sunday. So just typical Alberta for us. Uh, but stay healthy. I uh, will see you in person, hopefully in two weeks. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.